Good afternoon, everyone, and I'm happy to be here with our parish staff today. Our long-awaited message is finally coming forth. We've been waiting for several years now for this day to finally come. And the bishop, uh, yesterday I met with him in the afternoon at 1.30, and at that time the name of the parish was given, and the priest assignments were given as well. And so it's my honor and my privilege to share with you now the letter that uh, the bishop presented to me. Before I read the letter, again, I cannot thank you enough for all of your support that you have shown to us as Grouping 229. And finally, we are going to have a name and no longer a prison number. So at this point of time, I would like to share with you the letter that the bishop has shared with me. Dear sisters and brothers of St. Agnes, Christ the light of the world, Holy Trinity, St. Joseph, St. Maximilian Colby, Resurrection, St. Rita, and St. Teresa of Lisieux. On April 12, 2015, when I initiated On Mission for the Church Alive, who of us could have ever imagined the way in which the COVID-19 virus and crisis would affect every aspect of our daily lives. As we continue to live through many changes, realities, please know that I pray for you daily, asking our Heavenly Father to shower you with abundant grace, good health, and much hope. Despite present challenges with a pandemic, your parishes completed the merger process of consultation with parishioners, members of the pastoral and finance councils, signed a petition to move forward with a merger plan. In turn, your grouping administrator, Father E. Daniel Sweeney, petitioned me to merge the parishes on May 7, 2020. The Diocesan Parish Council and Vicar General gave consent to the proposal and I've accepted the recommendation. Effective July 1st, 2020, your current parishes will come, will cease to exist, and it'll be one new parish. St. Thomas the Apostle will be the parish name. Every member of your current parish is now a member of the newly formed parish, St. Thomas the Apostle. will also inherit all the assets responsibilities and liabilities of the current parishes. St. Thomas the Apostle will be served by the following clergy team. Father Daniel Sweeney, pastor. Father Michael Conway, senior parochial vicar. Father Mark Glasgow, in residence. Father Stan Gorick, in residence. Father Nic Nicholas Masterangelo, in residence. And Deacon Ronald Dombrowski. Your priests and deacons have worked diligently in service to you and to God throughout the process, and I am deeply grateful for their care and leadership. This has not been a simple task. Jesus never promised that it would be easy to carry this message of love and mercy to others. He was clear the sacrifice would be necessary. However, you are positioning your new parish, the new effective ministry, by addressing financial needs sharing resources, and allowing your courage and clergy to focus on the spiritual work for which they were ordained. With your faith in Jesus and empowered by the Holy Spirit, I invite you warmly and welcome you and serve each of you as to become one parish family. Grateful for your continued efforts together in being one on the Mission Church Alive and for the belief that nothing is impossible with God, I am your brother in Christ, the Most Reverend David A. Zubik, Bishop of Pittsburgh. So the question is, how do you feel? I told the bishop yesterday that we were going to have a poll, and we were going to put money in this poll of the naming of the church. 
And we were going to find out who won to place their bets on the church. And he says to me, Dan, you're the only one that's going to figure out some way to make a dime off of something. <laughs> and now I'm sorry I didn't because, you know, as sure as I'm sitting here, and I think all of us are sitting here, uh, thought it was going to be Our Lady of the Valley. But yet, we got the choice that we made. St. Thomas the Apostle. So I think it's a great name, and uh, Father Mike uh, shared with me just uh, now that we've got a lot of work to do, because July 3rd is Feast Day of St. Thomas the Apostle. <laughs> Our parish goes into effect July the 1st. So... We've got a lot of work to do. We've got to plan a great big celebration. Stay tuned, because we don't know what we're going to do. But I hope that you're happy. I'm very pleased with the clergy team that we have here. I am very thankful to also introduce to you Father Stan, who is sitting at the end of the table. Some of you may have seen him Sunday uh, on the Mass. Father Stan will be living with us in residence, and Father Stan will also be helping us by assisting in Masses uh, within our eight parishes. Next to him is Mr. Dan, Seminarian Dan, whatever, Dan. Uh, he is our seminarian who has been assigned here, and he will be here from June the 1st until July the 7th, 2021. And this will be his pastoral experience before he goes uh, back to the seminary to complete his studies. And of course, everyone knows Father Nick, and, and Father Nick had already received his letter of assignment uh, from the bishop, because when Father Nick got his letter, it was still questionable whether Mike or myself were going to remain. The one thing that was certain was that Father Nick was going to remain, and then the bishop decided the best thing would be for us to continue as a team. The people that are sitting behind me, I am very uh, happy to say that this is what consists of our parish staff at this time, and each person has an individual role to play, and we want you to know that we're here to serve the people the best that we possibly can. So very shortly you will be receiving a couple letters in the mail from me. The first will of course be the letter that I've already read to you. The second letter is going to be that as we move ahead, we are uh, looking at uh, hopefully, who knows what's going to happen with this virus and the green situation that we're going to be in. Uh, but we're still hoping maybe to pull off a festival at St. Therese in August. If that's not a possibility, we'll be having a raffle. And that raffle will take place uh, beginning, we'll be mailing tickets out June. And that raffle will end in August because uh, Father Mike along with uh, Rick uh, and um, the other guy's name, Donna, uh, Christ of the World. What's his name? Dan, Dan I believe. I don't know his name. Yeah. What's his first name? Dan, I believe. There's a fellow by the name of Dan, Donna, Christ of the World. Uh, they are going to chair our golf outing that is going to be on August the 28th, uh, and we'll have more information coming out on that as well. So with that being said, uh, thank you so much for your time. And again, we will continue to serve you the best way we know how. And to the parish team, as uh, Lori has uh, been so uh, instrumental with our youth group that they constantly make fun of her. And as they look at her, their response is all the time, Go team! So here we are. Go team and go St. Thomas the Apostle. Thank you one and all. <laughs>